All right, here we are at the bodybuilding.com gym where the buff dudes, Hudson, Brandon, and if you don't know of us, we run a YouTube channel ourselves, but bodybuilding.com has been kind enough to let us work out at their gym. Yeah, beautiful facility as you can tell. It's pretty empty too. We almost have a whole gym to ourselves. Who likes an empty gym? Yeah. 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 We just finished an awesome series this week with bodybuilding.com. It's called Buff Dudes and the Journey for the Goblet of Gains. It's a collaboration with us, MuscleTech, bodybuilding.com, and we're doing a workout from the plan today. Yeah, it's gonna be upper body. We're gonna be starting out with some pull downs. We also can answer your questions on this new technology we just found out about. Wow, oh, it's crazy. crazy. So we just wanna say hi to everyone in the chat. We're gonna be setting up with the pull downs. We're gonna start there and we're gonna be kind of trying to talk to you guys and answer some of your questions, comments, or whatever that may be. Just hang yeah. out, have some fun. Yeah. So all our exercises today are gonna to be four sets, eight reps. We can do a little bit of abs in the end, but um, you getting started? That's right. Not nice. hand off. There hand off. Go. I'm handling both Twitch and YouTube as you can see. So let's see. Mandy is waiting. We'll wait no more, because here we are. Yeah. All right, Chevy guy. The freeze frame reminds me of old school video game quality like Contra. Hell yeah, it does. It's one of our favorite games, definitely. Bringing Contra back one rep at a time. All right, Brandon's already finished, so I guess that makes it my turn. Pretty easy. You know, sometimes we like to incorporate maybe more of like a warm up feel out set on the first set and then continue from there. Um, but this weight feels pretty good. We might go up a little bit for the eight repetitions. Um, as you can see, depressing and retracting the scapula. Two things I love to say, uh, but it's working the lats primarily. If you can't do pull-ups, this is actually a great kind of uh, starting point to build up that lat and upper body strength. So hopefully in the future, you'll be able to do your first pull-up. Yeah. Done. There you go. All right. That was it. Yeah. Now, and you're going to see throughout the duration of this thing, we're going to be constantly doing this handoff. It's a little bit like a baton, the buff dude baton. <laughs> All right. Whoa. We have all these new comments I didn't even see. Thomas Stone says, sup guys. What's up, Thomas? Hope you're gonna get that workout in today, or maybe you already have. Alex Miles, rocking the beard, baby. Oh yeah, you know it. It's getting a little grizzly though, I gotta be honest. It's getting to the, uh, I don't know what level it's getting to, but it's not pretty, that's for sure. Might be shaving this thing pretty soon, but maybe not all the way. Yeah, Let me see. And it's 80 degrees out, so god damn, these beards. You know, <laughs> so a little bit of a hot one, for sure. All right. It's me, Jimbo Slice. Hey, Jimbo Slice, what's up? On Twitch, really good idea for live workout. Never would have thought of it. I know, us either. So we're happy we're doing it. Glad for joining us. I'm gonna get back to my next set. Nice. Here we go, Brett. It's actually pretty light for now. Slowly working our way up though. Get a little warm up, you know what I mean? And uh, everyone's just saying hi. Hello, I'm glad you're joining us. And uh, hopefully we're getting a good workout. And good pump, it's all upper body, which is, uh, Sometimes the funnest, as you can tell, wearing my sweatpants. You know, might get a little hot in here. He's a little smart, he wore some shorts. Yeah, yeah. baton, <laughs> there we go, the handoff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, it's been a long week. We're gonna do the same. Shooting, the Goblet of Games, look for it in July. It's gonna be on bodybuilding.com. Really excited about it. Let me check out some more comments. Let me see. I froze, sorry. I'm, I'm not a very good reader, to be honest. <laughs> Actually, I'm a little overwhelmed. There's a lot of comments, so let me see. Tomination time says, hey, buff dudes. Hey, Tomination time. What are your long-term plans? Bulking, cutting, trying to you know, reach new maxes. We tried to reach some new maxes just the previous prior months. Excuse me, I'm a little out of breath. Um, we did that, we're happy, not quite maybe as happy as we could have been because we wanted to get a little bit higher, but that's great because it's a new goal. We're gonna slim down a little bit for the summer, so that's the, next, that's the next big goal, and that's included in this plan, which is out in July. Yeah, <laughs> handing it off. All right. Double hand in here, double fisting. Workout routine, yes, it is a workout routine. It's the upper body, as we were saying before. Starting off the lats, we typically like to, in a program, start with kind of the bigger muscle groups first. So in this case, it's gonna be the lats, and then we're gonna move on to chest next. Um, but we got one more set after this, so it's gonna be pretty easy. Yeah. Um, Alex Miles, shall come to visit Germany. We would love that. Hopefully in the future, we're gonna be able to kind of do a Buff Dudes World Tour. We're actually doing a live show um, in California. Coming in June. Up soon. Yeah. 
in, uh, in Irvine. So bring your tomatoes. If, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Please but, uh, don't. If, if, it does, if it goes well, then who knows? Maybe we'll be able to visit Germany. The pass off. Boom. <sighs> you know, we should have written way more than just eight reps for this program because it's just going to be like, do, do, do. We're going to get more out of breath as this goes on progressively, so I apologize in advance. Let's get some YouTube. Let me see. Workout routine, routine. <laughs> Eli. The workout routine we're doing today, it's a little bit of a uh, upper body. We're gonna be doing some landline press, working on the clavicular portion of the chest. Some pullovers, a great upper body exercise. Uh, we got some push press, shoulders, and we're doing some lap pull downs now, so. There we go. It's a good one. Yeah. Let's see what you guys have to say. You know, maybe I'll ask a question. What's your favorite body part to work out? I think mine would have to be back right now. Sometimes it switches it up, sometimes it's chest, kind of depends, but right now, loving, you build that meat shield, you know? All right, let's see. Come on, update. Oh, there we go. Oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, man. Vietnam, Montreal, Indonesia, David, uh, Federico. We'll visit them all. Hey. Yeah. You know? You we're, guys, getting, we're getting support. started tonight. We're jumping on the plane. Get yeah. ready. That's right. Ready to show up at like two in the morning and knock on your door and be like, like hey, hey you invited us. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Any protein and barbells to lift? Get it ready. <laughs> we'll be there soon. Yeah, so we're done actually. That, that wraps up the first exercise. We got the lap pull downs out of the way. It was four sets, eight repetitions. We're going to be moving on to some upper chest, clavicular portion with the landmine press. So we're going to walk this way. We're going to set it up, kind of explain it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the swag walk. <laughs> you, yeah. gotta, you gotta get the build up, you know? That's when you know the workout's getting good. <laughs> you start walking like that. You don't even yeah. actually need That's to That's when you start like feeling the pump. You just start walking like that, so. All right, let's see. It's me, Jimbo Slice. I guess that wasn't really a question, but I just read it. <laughs> and um, let me see. Questions, let's get a good question. What do you eat before coming here? Ah, great question, mm -hmm. Mohammed. We usually eat, eh, I mean today, personally, we eat some chicken, we eat some rice, very simple, just brown rice, chicken, a little bit of veggies, kind of a staple. You know, a lot of like bodybuilders eat it, but they do it for a reason, because it gets you going, fills you up. I haven't done my first one, I was just oh, tuning no. in oh, to what oh, you're talking I see, about. I see, wow, oh, there we go. He's getting a little bit of that rest, you know. It gets, you a little winded. Um, Simon, hi from the UK. Hey Simon, hope all's going well. It's a little bit later there than it is here, so hope you got that workout in. All right, what is your favorite exercise for chest from David? That's an excellent question, and you're looking at one of them right now. This is mine, and I would probably say Brandon agrees, our favorite upper chest exercise. Everyone's gonna have a lagging body part. I would consider personally myself upper chest to be one of those body parts, so always include it in our program. That's why we're including it now, and it's also just a really fun one to do, so. The passing of the baton. I'm taking over here, and you'll see Hudson in the background. Before I answer any kind of questions you guys might have, we're just gonna kind of go over this a little bit. As you can see, if you've never done landmine press, um, there's a kind of a cool machine or mechanism you can see in the corner there. It looks like a landmine, it almost looks like a baseball plate, and you can shove the barbell right in that hole there, and there you go, you're good to go. And you can do many different exercises with it, it's really great, but let's say you don't have that. Just use a barbell, put it in the corner, of any gym or house or wherever you may be, and it can work just the same. And uh, you can be placed on your knees, and it's gonna go right to that upper chest, the clavicular portion, you can be pressing straight up, good squeeze the top, let it back down. So I need a demonstration. You, you just did this. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't answer any questions though, so now, now they're all backed up, but if you're curious about the landmine press, there you go. All right. Do you guys even lift? Funny. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've never heard that one before, actually. Who's better at gaming? That's an excellent question, bodybuilding.com. Um, you know, not to brag or anything, but you know, I'd say I got him a little bit on that one. But it's just because as a kid, it's really addicted to all the classics, StarCraft, Quake, Diablo 2. Depends on the game. Too. Yeah, it does depend on the game. Land my time. Yeah. Right. Ready. Uh, question is. What's your favorite snack by Mel? Oh, that's a tough one, a snack, you know. Um, Progert uh, is a great snack in my opinion, as far as a healthier snack. 
you know, you just get some yogurt, Greek yogurt, regular yogurt, make some protein powder in there, swirl it around, and there you go. It's pretty quick and easy. Um, unhealthy snack could probably be like chips and salsa, but uh, that can add up real quick. So you gotta be careful on that one. All right, it's my turn. I'm gonna take a water break. Oh, he's taking a water break, okay. So I'm still on, on the stage here. Uh, hello from Mexico City. Um, thank you, hello. I wish I could pronounce your name. That's the scary thing about these, some of your guys' names. I just don't wanna butcher them. So I might not mention some of them, I can't pronounce them. Um, how old are you guys? Well, there's an ongoing joke that we've said many times before. The buff dudes are immortal. Yeah, there you go. So that answers that. <laughs> See that movie Highlander? Yeah. We're just waiting for one of us to get you know, decapitated. Kinda, exactly. Unfortunately, we're always like, have our wits about us. So the other brothers right behind you, like, what? You know, notice. And so we we're, we're still have our heads. Yeah. One of us will have a bad day one day and then to the other one. But until that time, you can enjoy us working out on social media, such as Twitch and YouTube. All right. Should I drink while working out? That depends on what you're drinking. Uh, water, BCAAs, definitely. But yeah, I might stop there. Uh, Mel, hello from Turkey. Hey, Mel. Hope all is well. Post-workout food, Paul Martin. I just like the basics. Fat-free milk, a couple scoops of protein, a little bit of chocolate syrup, that hits the spot. And it's a good reward too, because when you're ready for that, you're, sometimes you're working out just for that. You're like, I want that, I want that shake. That's amazing. So, let me see. Hi from Holland. Hello. <laughs> Pakistan. Yes. Brandon. Foam. Here we go. So I think uh, we're getting close to the end of the, the uh, exercise here. But we got some time. We can go through some of these, uh, these questions here. Uh, let's see here. How has lifting, this is a great question by A space A, how has lifting positively affected your life? I would say it's probably one of the most positive influences. Um, I'm probably speak for Hudson as well, because you know we started at a young age, our dad got us into it, so immediately um, you know, he was a positive figure in our life. Um, and then through you know, working out, we, we bonded, and we learned to, learned to love it you know, through him, and then of course we've now taken it to the next level and, and kept it up, but you know, Working out just doesn't have to make you look good, but it also makes you feel good, you know. You could be depressed, you could be feeling down, you could be tired, you get in the gym and lift some weights, or you can go outside and run, you know, it doesn't even have to be in the gym. And immediately you're gonna feel better, you get your endorphins running, and uh, there's kind of no better feeling. So, yeah, it's very, very positive um, influence for sure. There you go. Yeah. One more. Last set. Last set. Best set. Hi guys. Hi Mika. Hope all is well. Nate says, are you brothers? Yes, we are. Pretty close, not twins, 18 months apart. I'm older. What's your favorite type of cardio? Says Ariel Ramos. Mine, personally, would just be first thing in the morning. Not only that, but it's kind of in line with what Brandon said, it just feels good. I like getting up on the right side. I usually like to get up just before the sun rises, because mentally, I feel like I'm beating the sun a little bit. You know, I'm getting up and doing, you know, seizing the day before it is, so uh, yeah, that's good. Put on some headphones. It's a great time to meditate, game plan. Yeah, I would say in the morning for sure. So I'm gonna do my last set, but one last person. Hello from Sydney. Hi. <laughs> or g'day, mate. Either one. Uh, how often do you guys get massages? Not enough. I don't think anyone can say they get massages enough. I can't even remember the last time I got a massage, but it is an excellent source of myofascial release. You know, all those tight muscles, um, you know, it really helps obviously loosen them up, but it can help with blood flow, kind of get some more oxygen nutrients inside the muscle. But if you don't have a massage therapist, or maybe you can't afford one, there's always a foam roller. Foam rolling can really help alleviate a lot of tightness, uh, sore muscles. So I always try to recommend that. You're basically giving yourself a deep tissue massage. It's pretty easy. You pretty much take the foam roller out and roll out some stiff uh, or tight areas, kind of hold on certain positions if you feel a knot in there. And then there you go. You only have to maybe do it for five to ten minutes, depending on you know how bad off you are. Uh, but it's really easy. You just do it every day if you want. So uh, yeah, there we go. Next question. Um, does cardio kill testosterone? By John. Uh, absolutely not. Cardio. I think any kind of movement exercise is never going to kill your testosterone. You know, it's kind of hard because you get a lot of different information from here and there. But uh, as long as you're active and you're healthy and you're eating correctly. Um, your hormone levels are gonna be regulated properly. I think the problem is if you're just not eating correctly and getting enough nutrients for your body, that's when you're gonna feel kinda of like, you know, maybe your testosterone levels aren't quite what they should be. But that's it. There we go. That was the last set of this exercise. 
We're going to be moving on to some shoulders. Um, excuse me, no, that's wrong. We're not moving on shoulders yet. We're moving on to pullovers, which is kind of a shoulder exercise in a way because it's involving them. But uh, we're going to be going over the dumbbells on this next one. All right. Pullovers. An excellent upper body workout exercise, I should say. Let me read some questions. Let me see. Um, someone asked, oh, Jinx says, how did you guys get started on YouTube? That's an excellent question. It's about four years ago. We had the idea. We we're actually at the gym. Surprise, surprise. We just wanted something fun, something with a lot of energy, entertainment, just to make people laugh. Uh, the gym culture can be very, you know, um, colorful. I'm sure as anyone who's been in the gym, they see a lot of characters, they see a lot of stuff going on. So we want to cover some of that. Also throw some humor into it, some education so people can learn, people can laugh, some things that we enjoy. Bill Nye, the science guy, Steve Irwin, Crocodile Hunter, a lot of stuff like that growing up. So we want to inject a lot of that same stuff. And uh, we've been happy so far. It's been a lot of fun. And a lot of that is due to you, to be honest. We love reading the comments. We love the suggestions. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's made the channel better, for sure. And, and thank you, yeah. Uh, Vaughn says, keep up the good work, always inspiring. Thanks, Vaughn, really, really appreciate that, thank you. Um, let me see. Garvey says, holy censored, it's the buff dudes from the YouTubes on Twitch. Yes, it is, I know. We're here, we're finally here. So, I I'm gonna get started. I forgot I haven't even been checking that one out. Uh, yeah, well, we need to give Twitch some love. Sorry, Twitch, I do love you. Uh, okay. Quick, uh, as these comments come in, I'm just gonna explain maybe this exercise real quick. Pullovers like Hudson was explaining, great upper body. I guess not really a lot to explain other than kind of keep your hips lower, keep your upper back on the, uh, on the bench. Did Hudson already say this actually? I might have missed that. I was too busy doing my exercise. But um, yeah, here we go. Now you can see for you know, all his glory right here. But uh, probably, you know, if you're looking for a great full upper body exercise, then this would probably be one of them. At least it's definitely one we love, and uh, I would highly recommend it. So that's why it's in the program. But uh, here we go, some comments. Um, Daniel, I'm 15, should, should I lift weights? Uh, yes, you can definitely lift weights. You know, I think one of the issues sometimes people think you shouldn't lift weights is maybe sense your growth, it can be bad for your joints, um, but it won't. You know, as long as you lift properly, your, um, your form is on point, you know, you, you introduce the proper nutrition, you'll be fine. Just don't try to go overboard. You know, we've been there too when we were younger. We got excited. We just want more is better. Uh, more weight's better. More workouts are better. You know, anything more should be better, but that's not necessarily the case. So take it slow. Do like full body um, workouts, maybe like a five by five program or anyone that suits, you know, you or that you like and kind of go from there. So yeah, definitely would recommend working out those. Great. And it makes you feel good. It's a huge plus. Oh, Ben, who's better, Queen or Led Zeppelin? Wow. Ugh, you really got to make us choose one over the other, huh? Hmm. I'd say it varies from time to time. I'd say probably at this moment in time, I mean, you can't beat Queen. You can't beat either of them. They're both classic. But I'd say maybe Queen edges it just a tiny bit right now. All right. Hello from Wales. How buff is too buff from Daniel? You know, that's a great question. <laughs> I don't know, we haven't hit our maximum buffness. We're on an ever-ending quest. As you can see, the journey for the Goblet of Gains, coming July, bodybuilding.com. Little plug there. We're gonna find out, can we reach ultimate buffness? Tune in. All right, let me see. Stuff VP says, buff dudes, you guys are the best. Thank you, Stuff VP. Yeah, all right. Let me see. Ah, nice. Since you were on Twitch, we're reading a Twitch content, uh, comment. What are your favorite video games? There's so many. Red Dead Redemption, Metal Slug. I was kind of disappointed. I was a huge Mass Effect fan, um, although even the third one kind of dropped the ball in the ending. I was still a fan of the content, the story, and the, and the gameplay. I have not played the newest Mass Effect because I, I was watching reviews of it and, and uh, it just didn't look like it lived up to what it should be. So, but uh, you know, you never know. Sometimes now with these big companies kind of taking over, you gotta be, you gotta be wary. But uh, you know, that was a, that was a big, big uh, one of mine that I played right through. It was kind of hard to put down. So, definitely a favorite. All right, uh, let's see here. Player unknown is life. Oh hell yeah. Let's see. 
Uh, I'm, I'm spacing. Hey guys, what do you recommend to build up your shoulders? Okay, so can't pronounce your username, that's fine, but hey guys, what would you recommend to build up your shoulders? Uh, we're gonna be actually doing that next. It's an excellent exercise called the push press. Um, it is a big compound movement, and you're gonna be allowing yourself to push up more weight because your legs are gonna be helping out. But we're gonna go over that in a little bit. Uh, but anything really pushing, like an overhead press is great too. Kind of a big, basically a big compound movement for the shoulders is always, is always one of the better ones. Uh, now that I've talked too much, I'm gonna move on to my exercise. Hello from Serbia. Hello Bronco, if I'm pronouncing your name right. If I'm not, I apologize. Um, Ryan Long, just say hi to me. Hi Ryan. <laughs> um, let me see. Hmm. Who should we read from next? What's your favorite Rocky movie? I'm guessing Rocky number four says the Mikey Lowe Show. Mikey, you're, you're a smart man. Either that or we're very predictable, but come on, you can't beat the soundtrack. Hell yeah. Uh, JSD says, Hudson, do you have that 10 bucks I lent you? Because I need it. <laughs> yeah. <It's laughs> the yeah, exactly. The, um, probably owe a lot more than that after the interest kicks in, but uh, sorry, JS, I'll get back to you one day. Jerish, hello from India. Hey, let me see. Malaysia, hey, Hamar. Uh, let me see. Do you guys enjoy or employ strongman exercises? Says Joey, love strongman. Don't employ a lot of them, would love to in the future though. So yeah, thanks for the suggestion. We will do it. Russ says hi from Russia. Hey Russ, let me pass this off. There we go, we finish my next set. We're on to set number three of pullovers. Yeah, let's go to, yeah. My math is not very good right now. I just want to say hi to Kirsten because she made a comment and I missed it uh, earlier on, on Twitch here. So uh, thank you very much. Um, let's see, get some good, get some good questions here. Okay, Mohammed, behind neck press versus front uh, press or normal press, like overhead press. Uh, can you do both? The risk reward uh, ratio of behind the neck press maybe isn't quite as balanced as overhead press a normal in front of the neck press would be. So I would firstly recommend the overhead press, the standard, you know, in front of you um, press. But if you're starting to get a little bit more advanced, if you have the proper shoulder mobility, and if you go light enough, and I think that behind the neck press can be safe. You know, I've done it many times myself, and uh, it's kind of a, a common theme whenever you're doing any kind of exercises that the risk reward, the risk is a little higher than the reward. Um, you, just, you just feel it out, play it safe, keep it light, and then move on from there. And hey, if you don't like it, if it's causing discomfort, you can stop, and then you're not scared that it's, you know, you're gonna get injured, so that's one of them. That was a long, long, my answer's so long, it's like by the time I'm done, um, my time's up, so. Yeah. You need a big buzzer at the end. <laughs> Bodybuilding.com's gonna install a big buzzer, so they're like, guys, quit talking, get back to the workout. <laughs> All right. Hector says, I think they're trying to become as strong as one man. One man punch, hell yeah, you know it. We're trying, maybe one day. How is your gym so empty? Says Stuff VP from Twitch. <laughs> this is the mythical bodybuilding.com gym. Few have graced its halls. We may not live to tell of its glory, I don't know. We'll see if the, we'll see if the crew lets us out or not, but it's a very nice facility. But it's so nice out, lots of people are like, I'm gonna work outside. All right, Ethan says, what do you use in your hair? Shampoo, and I remember. <laughs> uh, does the buffness ever become a problem? Says Carlos, the buffness is always a problem, but you know what the solution? More buffness. Yeah, except when you're flying a plane. If you're flying an airplane, it's, you're, yeah. Yeah. that's pretty much when it comes to a big problem. Unless you're like first class or something. <laughs> okay, last one, I just finished mine. Cuts us on to his last one. All right, let's get some of these, uh, these questions answered, or these comments. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, ketogenic diets lifestyle? Isaac, uh, it kind of depends. Diet's a funny thing, you know. I mean, I hate to cop out on a question like that where I don't have too much of an opinion. My personal opinion is I don't personally like it for myself, but it's kind of such a broad spectrum um, when you're talking about nutrition because everyone's so different. They handle different foods differently, macronutrient ratios, the calorie surplus or deficits. So, you kind of have to try it out for yourself and see if it really works for you, you know. Uh, you have to be careful with the lower carbohydrate diet like that because carbohydrates are a pretty big portion of how your system works. So you just, it's tricky, you know. So you just gotta basically feel it out and see if it works for you. Um, Hudson, this is a question for you. Yeah. 
What is it? Simon. Any tips on hitting squat depth? It's 1.30 a.m. in Germany, so you better answer this question. Oh, wow. Any, any, well, what's helped me personally, because believe me, <laughs> I've gotten called out for a few times on our videos, um, lots of mobility. That's, you know, uh, full squats beforehand, lots of full squats, um, leg swings, that's helped. Just mobility in general, about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm personally a fan of if you want to get to depth and know you're getting to depth because sometimes you don't have a spotter, get in the squat rack, set down a box, do some box squats. Make sure the box is a little bit below parallel so you're getting that, as they say, ass to grass. You don't maybe have to go ass to grass, but get the box so you are below parallel. Get those safety bars set up. You always want to be safe and uh, rep it out. Then you know you're getting to depth. So I would highly recommend box squats to help increase your range of motion. I'm getting a little winded as you can see. And Brandon left me. Where'd he go? I gotta find him. Oh, there he is. Over here. We're gonna get started on push press. So follow me. All right. Set up. What we got next? All right. Push press. And we got it set up here. Now the push press is what we were kind of talking about earlier. Um, made a, uh, someone made a comment where you know what's a good exercise for building the delts, and this is definitely a good one here. So as you can tell, we lifted you know, a decent amount of weight for the shoulders, but with the standard overhead press, your legs are gonna be locked. It's all gonna be pressing in the shoulders. With this one, you're gonna get a little leg action, some hip action as well. So it's three things you wanna keep in mind, and this one is dip, drive, press. So you're dipping down, you're driving, and you're pressing. So you're creating that kind of momentum with the weight and pushing through the shoulders, just like that. Yeah. Make a little dance move out of it, you know? Dip, drive, press. Dip, drive, press. Inch, 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 inch. Let's remember it. Last All right. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Me yeah, sorry. Sorry. The beat was just getting into him. So uh, I have to say this one, or I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Hello to mom and Aga. Yeah. Love you. I'm glad I saw it too. Um, football as well. So, moving on. Let's see. Is Batman a superhero? It's an excellent question. No, he's not. He's the world's greatest detective. And, you know, I guess he's also a superhero, but uh, let me see. Semi-Forge says, surely this isn't legit. It's very legit. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, you know the rest of the words, but Br Brandon knows them. Hell yeah. All right, here we go. I'm on to push press. Oh, there we go. Whoa, now. Okay. So God's in the back. He's performing the push press. Meanwhile, I'm going to try to answer some of the questions as much as I can. Um... Okay, Simon, I think this was uh, your question on squats with Hudson. What mobility would you suggest? Leg swings and uh, full squats. Two exercises that will work on hip mobility and also ankle mobility. You know, because when you think about mobility and stability, ankles need to be very mobile, knees need to be stable, and the hip joint needs to be mobile as well. So if you work on those two joints, the ankle and the hip, then your squat will be a hell of a lot better in the long run. There you go, what am I, what am I, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, marathon question, here we go. Um, Josh, thanks for the 12-week plans, lads. Thank you, we appreciate your, uh, you coming, hanging out, and coming in here, so definitely very welcome. Okay, what else we got? What do you do for rotator health? Um, David, thanks for the, all the advice. You're welcome, first of all, and rotator cuff health would definitely be mobility for sure. One, um, pass-throughs, but like Hudson's doing now, it's gonna be some external rotations. So if you're wanting to build up rotator cuff strength, external rotations uh, will be an excellent tool in your arsenal to build up that strength. And then in the long run, help st stabilize, or stable, uh, stabilize your shoulder with levy, uh, heavy lifts. As you can tell, I can't talk anymore. So I'm gonna <laughs> hand it off to Hudson. I'm just gonna do my damn exercise. This may turn into a fail video. Yeah. We mo may both just keel right over. Just camera right over there. Are they dead? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me see. Love from Poland. Why, thank you. Appreciate it, Lucas. Okay. Best exercise. <laughs> best exercise. Best exercise. Exercise. God, I can't even talk. Um, and English is my first language, unfortunately. <laughs> I haven't even learned that yet. Um, I like straight arm pull downs. They're a great one. If you haven't tried them, try them out. Um, What's your opinion on creatine, says Anthony. I like creatine, I like creatine a lot. Um, 
five, 10 grams a day, depends. Usually, you know, before, after workout. Ed says, how's the shoulder, Hudson? Thank you, Ed, good question. Um, in prior videos, I had mentioned that, you know, I had a shoulder impingement, feeling a lot better. A lot of that is due to a lot of mobility. Actually, exactly like Brandon was just saying, with the uh, rotator cuff, with the um, external rotation, so highly recommend it. Um, let me see. What are your carbs during a bulk, says Big Rasco from Twitch. Mine was about three, you know, it wasn't like super high, it was like three, 350. Um, let me see. Man, that's a hard thing to pronounce. It's on Twitch. Were you guys into cosplay? If so, what characters would you guys want to cosplay? I went to my first convention last year's PeerCon with my fiance. I dressed as Thor. Yeah. So it was a good time. Big surprise there. Yeah, everyone it was a lot of fun, but uh, yeah, loved it. Hello from Seattle, from Ahmed. Hello. I found my water. No, nice. I'm hydrated. Or maybe someone else's water. I don't Brandon's know, ready to talk for like 30 straight minutes yeah, now. Yeah, get ready. At the least. It's a marathon talking session going on right now. Uh, cosplay, well, depends on the look, I guess. Maybe uh, Wolverine at this point? I don't know. Uh, okay. Let's see. What's the question here? What's your best workout split, Chris? Um, well, we love the kind of classic, you know, hypertrophy um, style split. You know, it could be uh, chest and back together, shoulders, traps, biceps and tries together, and then legs. Uh, works for us. We love a lot of supersets, drop sets, you know, short rest times. But of course, with those short rest times and trying to talk between sets, uh, get a little winded. But so I'm pretty much recuperated though, so I might as well get to my next set. <laughs> back to me. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. I'm overwhelmed. Which one of your PRs was the most satisfying? Good question. Um, deadlift, definitely the deadlift one. Wasn't quite as happy as I could have been with squats and bench. Still working on it. Pretty happy with deadlift. I would say the most out of the big three compound exercises. Um, Ahmed says extreme respect. Thank you, Ahmed. Yeah, appreciate that. Um, what's up from Brazil, Robson? What's up? Hope all is well. Um, let me see. David, why are you guys so fat? We just came off a of bulk, man. Give us a break. Come on, Come on. lay off. God damn. I'm starving. Don't give me any more body issues, all right? <laughs> Try my best, man. All right. Chris, thanks for your answer. Yeah, definitely. All right. Let me see. Cosplay life. Kirsten, hell yeah, you know it. Yeah, hey Kirsten, what's up? Uh, this is third set. Not quite the last one. So it's all good. Okay, random dude, I love your name. Uh, how young is too young to start serious training with weights? Uh, you know, oh, with weights? Try to go through puberty first, I'd recommend. Let your hormones go through, balance out, and then go from there. So I would say, you know, could start maybe around 14, but don't be too concerned with lifting too heavy. Uh, and then as you progress through there, 15, 16, that's when you can actually start implementing a little bit more intense workouts and training involved, but it's gonna kinda all depend too. On, uh, on a lot of actors, but uh, don't be scared of the weights if you're a little younger. I mean, even if you go real light, even if you're just going outside and doing bodyweight exercises, it's always a good start, just so that way you learn all the form, function, and uh, you know, once you actually do get a little bit more serious as you get older, pretty much be like a cakewalk after that. Yeah. David replied, the one that called us fat, said, just kidding, love your vids. I love you too, David. No, no harm, no foul, you know. Um, let me see. Greetings from Mexico, Oswaldo. Greetings. Hope all is well in Mexico. Uh, Leon says, are you guys gonna bench? Not today. Um, did a little bit of the chest. We did a little bit of uh, landmine press, pullovers, hit a little bit. We're gonna be moving on next to something. I don't know, we'll get creative. No, we're moving on to arms next. Um, let me see. Best exercise for triceps, in your opinion, says uh, Dark. Greetings from Puerto Rico. Hey, yeah, greetings. Skull Crushers is one of our absolute favorites, and we've actually got it on the agenda today, so. Next. Yeah, next. All right. Um, here you go, Brandon. Oh. I've got one more All right. set to I'm always doing this when he's got his water out. Yeah, what, what it's are not, you doing It's not on purpose, I swear. All right. Captain Canada, first time here, and you guys are awesome, thanks. There's a reason I read that comment. Make ourselves feel good, but thank you. Appreciate the comment. Let's see what other question we got here. Um, Shane, yo, from Ireland. Hey, how you doing? Uh, beautiful country. 
Probably, probably not 80 degrees out though in blue sky, but beautiful nonetheless, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. Best beginner muscle groups to work on. Um, I would definitely concentrate on bigger compound movements that incorporate many muscle groups at a time. Squats, excellent, deadlifts. Uh, pretty much the golden five we talk about um, uh, a lot in our, episode, or in our, in our um, videos and continue to preach, which would be the squats, the deadlifts, the pull-ups or pull-downs, um, bench press and like overhead press. And uh, you can switch deadlifts with maybe, or excuse me, pull-ups with maybe like bent over rows, but really it's just those big, you know, lifts that work out multiple muscle groups at once. So definitely a big recommended there. Uh, let's see. How can I avoid DOMS? Um, soreness stops me from lifting. Well, unfortunately you can't ever really stop DOMS from happening, but there's a few things to try to alleviate a little bit of the soreness beforehand, but once you have it, you have it, you know? It's like a, well, I was gonna say something maybe a little risky, but, but yeah, once you have it, you have it. Uh, some of the things you can try to avoid it with is gonna be like uh, electrolytes, stretching, mobility work, stuff like that. So hopefully if you're performing all that, you're not gonna quite get as sore as maybe you would if you didn't do all those things to begin with. That sounded really convoluted and, and complicated, but it's not, trust me. So we're gonna go into some skull crushers as uh, Hudson answers some more of the questions and stuff. All right, Mel Yu says, how do you look good while working out? I don't know if you implied that we look good you while working out, but you guys look, I appreciate it. Because <laughs> I feel a little sweaty and obnoxious right now, but we're still trying to power through this thing. All, All right. right, let me see. Well, I'm, we're going to be here, but I'm going to grab the weight. All right. What shall we do? Brandon's going to grab the weight. weight shall so we? I'm going to be your host for the course of the next crush? couple minutes here. Oh, how much weight does it take to crush our skulls? I think that's the question. Um, read a few. Okay. Let me see. All right. Wow, all right, so well, many. Carlos. Oh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, okay. all see. you, all, all you. Is. Going on to school crushers. You got the bench laid out. Uh, a couple different hand um, positions you can do. You can do close, you can do wide. Um, I particularly like a little bit closer. With close, it's gonna bring my elbows in um, so it doesn't turn into more of a press where your elbows are flaring out and you're pressing with the shoulder and chest. So I'm just gonna perform a couple now. Primarily working the triceps, really kind of more of an isolation exercise. And uh, I think Hudson has a good question. I can see it on his face. Oh, yeah. Any exercises for a buff beard, says Carlos. Chainsaw oil and sawdust. Yeah, just right in here, rubbing around. No, that's really bad advice, but genetics. Unfortunately, it's genetics. And you grow it. Sometimes people have patchy beards, but let it grow. Give it time. It's like building muscle, so you just got to stick with it. I promise you, it will come. All right. How long have you guys been lifting, says David. Well, did quite a while. We started with our dad around 15. I got some random hand just came out of nowhere. And actually, it was our awesome sound guy adjusting our pack. Got to give him some love. Great dude. Um, let me see. Where am I? Um, yeah. Brandon, oh, okay. give it up. Cool. Yeah. First set done. Back up here a bit so maybe you can see, give us both one shot. Uh, Golazo, what's up, bro? What's up? Thanks for joining us. Uh, another guy, uh, Condemnation Films, I love your skits. Uh, are you trying to become actors? We're not trying. This is a way of life, bro. This is just us. No, I mean, we've actually had some pretty cool gigs in the past with some various commercials and stuff, so it's always fun for us. We have a lot of fun, so I mean, hey, if you have the opportunity, why not? All right, let's get a, uh, oh man, Simon. He's got, he's, got another, uh, he's got another question for you, but sorry, Simon, he's busy at the time, so maybe you're gonna have to, have to hold off for a second. But, oh, look at, look at here. He's done with his set, so I think hold he can on. answer. There you go, I'll take this. Maybe I'll look at, I'm gonna look at, uh, my right shoulder is super flexible because it's double jointed. Congratulations. Uh, there's not much here. Oh, here's one. Uh, all right, no, that wasn't one, my bad. Here you go. <laughs> and it's back to me. Yeah. Oh, you know, I gotta give Brandon a lot of props right now. He's keeping those skull crushers light, which is nice because for those of you who haven't motor mouthed their way through a workout like we are now, you get surprisingly winded. Yeah, it's great, you know, cardiovascular and what Brandon's doing now. So let me see. What are your opinions about bread? Ask Luke. <laughs> I was just looking through the comments here for a second. Yeah, I enjoy bread in the mornings, moderation like most things. It's kind of our motto, moderation. Never like super hardcore into one thing, 
love working out. We even do that in moderation for the most times. You know, um, so yeah, I'll have a bread in the morning. Dave's killer bread, something like that, you know, hearty breakfast meal. Uh, all right. Mel says, is it Brandon or Brendan? It's Brandon. Brandon. With an A. With an A. It does sound a little, uh oh. What happened over there? I'm going to shoot something up. Some weird screen came up and I was scared for a second. Okay. What do you think about intermittent fasting, Shane asks. I have never personally done it, so it's hard to give an advice or an opinion on it, I should say. Uh, it, I know it works for a lot of people, um, and I've heard a lot of people talk about it to me and recommend it to me, but uh, I have not, not tried it. You know, it can be convenient for a lot of people because, you know, you're not really having to eat all day, and then you eat one big meal, and then so on and so forth, so it's not like you have to put a lot of time into preparing meals or even taking the time to consume those meals, so there's kind of a half-assed answer for you. Sorry about that. Um, Okay, Bennett, how can I get my deadlift max higher? Um, there's a lot to that. There's different variations of the exercise you can do, whether that be like deficit deads, uh, you can do a lot of mobility work, you can try to, you know, uh, do the progressional training system where you're really stressing your body and really trying to increase uh, the rate incrementally, um, so on and so forth. But I'm passing it on because I could be here all day talking about this stuff. Hey, you all still here? You all still alive? The sweat hasn't, you know, we're glad YouTube and Twitch hasn't implemented smell vision or anything of that nature because it's getting hot in here. It's getting sweaty. It's a beautiful day outside, but it's a little toasty in this gym. Well, it's because we're just busting through this workout, you know? Uh, you guys rock, says Luke. Thank you, Luke. You rock. All right. How long do you guys lift? That was the question I was going to answer. How long do we lift? We got into it about 14. Dad got us into it. We had to wait until we were 14 in order to join the gym. So we waited and waited and waited and waited. It's an awesome 14 year old birthday present. So we started working out with our dad. Did that for a while. Eventually moved on to becoming our own training partners. Um, our dad passed the torch. So uh, we are now the new buff dude. He was the buff dude from about you know 1980 to late 90s, but we're the new generation. Look for the other ones soon, in about another decade or so. Um, Whoa, a little hint there. I, I know. Watch, <laughs> watch out. Uh, let me see. I'd love to keep watching, says Simon, but it's almost 1 a.m. in the UK, so I have to go. Keep up the vids. Thanks, Simon. Have a great night. You've been a loyal commentator here, commenter, I should say. So we appreciate your questions. Yeah. It was all the Hudson's I had. I appreciate your questions. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Um, calorie range to maintain muscle while cutting. Surely. These are some like legit questions over here, you know. I want to go into them, but I mean, I feel like I'm just taking too much time. Um, calories to maintain muscle. It's a good question and also a very broad question because it's going to differ, differ from person to person. Um, not only your metabolic rate, uh, your height, your weight, your, your activity, um, daily activity. So it's a pretty, pretty broad question. Um, there's a lot of different calculators out there. BMR calculator, TDEE calculator, total daily uh, exercise expenditure, or energy expenditure, excuse me. So you can, you can really calculate how much your body does need by uh, pretty much just putting in all your stats. So it's actually easier than you think. But um, find out what works for you, and then that's when you implement it. Uh, I think we have one more. This is the last one. Yes. Wow, we're almost to the end already. And to chime in with that last question, I found using a calorie counter, like an app online, huge help, at least for me. Because a lot of times you don't know what you're eating. You're like, yeah, I think I ate pretty good today. Maybe you ate way, way, way less than you should have. Maybe you ate way more. Maybe fat you know, was predominantly everything that made up your calories for the day. Maybe it was carbs, maybe it was protein. It's nice to get a calorie counting app so you can finally see, oh, that's what I'm eating? Then you can adjust accordingly. You see results pretty quickly. I'd recommend it. And then once you get used to it, you don't have to use them anymore because you kind of got a good idea. Um, wow, did we have one last set? You do. I'm lost. <laughs> All right. Pullovers, here we come. This no, 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 skull crushers. What? <laughs> Damn, he's losing. I think it's, it's near the end. That's usually what happens. I think that's what's happening to me too. Um, okay, so we got a Twitch here. Any tips on building forearms? There's a joke in there somewhere, which I'm not gonna use because I wanna try to keep it PG at least. Um, but what you wanna do is finger curls. Finger curls is an excellent exercise to help isolate the forearms, and that's really gonna help build size and strengthen them in the long run. But of course, you can also implement other exercises like farmer walks, deadlifts, things of that nature, which is gonna test your grip with isometric ability, and in the long run, it's gonna build strength. And maybe not so much size if you're maybe contracting them eccentrically and concentrically. 
but there you go. Quick answer for you. Um, that guy reminds me of Reinhard. What guy? <laughs> Is that Hudson? I think so. Um, he's always the coolest. God, it's cool. Okay, well, I'll go back to YouTube here. Um, let's see. Will creatine build a lot of muscle? Mike. Uh, you could, absolutely, yes. It's definitely one of those um, proven supplements that can be implemented pretty much um, to anybody. Uh, the problem with that is a lot of people will maybe kind of like half-ass take it um, when you need to be consistent with it continuously at least, um, you know, while, you know, you're lifting weights and stuff. There you go. What's next? We got barbell curls. Now there's a couple things we can do. Um, do you want, should we stay here? Is this a good angle? Let's do it. I think the lighting is perfect for us, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we could. Oh, yeah. Should we break it. the rules? If anyone from the miss is that's out like there, a big middle finger to like anyone that's in the gym right now. Yeah. But I don't we'll know. Do let's just let's do it. Let's make the comments go crazy. <laughs> you want it? Uh oh. No. Okay, we got to be respectful. Okay. Okay. We'll keep it. We'll we keep we can't do that. All right, all right. That's sacrilege. We won't we won't break the rules this time. Maybe next time. Are you, are you leaving or are you staying there? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just walking around. I'm running out of oxygen here. Um, Broden would come down from the skies above and strike us down if we curled in the squat rack. All right, let's see. That guy reminds me of Reinhard. That's what I said. Oh, okay. He's reading my comments. Okay. I'm rereading. Oh my God, I'm rereading comments. I'm recycling it now. Okay. Um, let me see. Tomination time from Twitch says, Buff Dudes, what's the hardest part about today that caught you, caught you off guard for doing live streaming? That you have to be talking non-stop while working out. So, I don't know. What do you think? We're doing an okay job. Maybe you shouldn't answer that. <laughs> but we made it this far. That's a good thing. Neither one of us has keeled over, so we're happy. I'm about oh. to. All right. So, I'm up. <laughs> nice. Here we go. First. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, Ryan, any tips for skinny kid trying to get big and huge? Big and huge are two things that we're constantly trying to strive for. <coughs> Excuse me. Big and huge is gonna be a lot of food, and it's gonna be lifting a lot of weight. A simple equation, but yet can get a lot more detailed because that nutrition can then be broken down into different avenues as far as how much calories, but then those calories can then be split into what percentage of macronutrients you wanna take place. Um, earlier, we talked about doing calorie calculators, uh, BMR calculators, total daily energy expenditure calculators. That's a lot of calculating, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the long run, it's worth it because then you know exactly what to do. So it's, just take the time, invest that time to do your research, to calculate, and then maybe you'll learn some math on the way. All right. That's why they're there, so you don't have to do any math, I guess. Exactly. So good. Makes it a lot easier for us. You're blocking my shot, bro. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, there we go. Can't wait, I'm telling you, yeah, I'm blocking the mirror. <laughs> That's another huge gym crime. Sorry. Cynthia, the blonde guy looks like Thor. Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> Thank you very much. You just gave me the strength to complete this workout. All right. Will you make a superset? We love supersets. Having said that, no, we're not doing a superset, but typically we do, just That's not. That's in phase three. Or yes. World three of this program. For those of you gonna say real quick that maybe didn't catch the beginning of this video. This whole workout is part of the new MuscleTech and Bodybuilding.com program, Buff Dudes and the Journey for the Goblet of Gains, coming in July. Look for it then on Bodybuilding.com. And this is going to be one of the workouts featured in that series. There we go. Excellent. I know. Promo school paid off. Okay. Who is the homeless guy lifting with Hudson? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm, I'm shaving it eventually, okay? Thanks, guys. Uh, Joey, what's your weak points and your own opinions? We were talking about that earlier, you know, and I, and I kind of agree with Hudson, I think, obviously, because we share the same genetics being brothers, is that the upper chest is always a lagging body group or a body part, you know, however you want to kind of like put that. Um, you know, being a little bit taller, calves seem to lag a little bit, but our dad has some pretty good genetics in the calves. I think we share that a bit. As long as we're consistent with the training, they seem to come up there pretty, pretty good. So, but upper chest, I think, would probably be number one. Arms, I mean, it just needs to work, you know. Here, there we go. I think, I don't know about my arms. You gotta uh, do, yeah, you gotta do. There you go, yeah, here, I'll be reading the comments. So, uh, <laughs> Gabe says, what do, you, what do you guys do before YouTube? I'll let Hudson answer that. Yeah? We were on MySpace, <laughs> not really. Um, well, we were, but we weren't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, let me see. What's your favorite back exercise? Big fan of the deadlift. Yeah, I mean, can't go wrong. 
field, lifting heavy things up, putting them down, definitely works for us. That is definitely the one exercise I do love to try to max out. Yeah, let me see. Favorite exercise for butt cheats, says James. That's an excellent question. I would say glute bridges or squats. Can't go wrong with squats. Um, Who does squats? Best Who movement. <laughs> Who works legs? Best movements for building traps says rumble, be humble on Twitch. Shrugs. Can't go wrong. Oh. All right. Back to brain. Do you guys have another job other than YouTube? Um, no. You're working out on YouTube. That's life <laughs> at this point, which is awesome, but who knows about the future. Uh, these dudes are crazy looking. Yeah, that's true. We are pretty crazy looking. So we apologize if we're scaring anybody right now. Uh, pretty much everyone in the gym right now is avoiding us. There's <laughs> about a 10 empty, foot ratio. Because everyone's congregated over in the back going, God, just don't go close. Don't go. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's see. Favorite exercise for legs. Did you answer that? I bet you think you did. Um, favorite bodybuilder. You know, it's so typical to say Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I'm going to go with something a little different. I'm going to say Arnold Schwarzenegger is my favorite. <laughs> Are you, guys, are you guys doing an abdominal video? Uh, yes. And uh, as soon as we have our abs back, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do an abdominal video because in right now vacation. they're they're gone. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I see so. them running away right there. Yeah. See abs. Yeah. Back soon. They're enjoying the sun. Yeah. Uh, you know. It's a beautiful think, day outside. Was that force? I think that was it. Same thing. I was three. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Had to be the burst the bubble right now. Buzz kill. It's all good. It's biceps though. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Luke Pat from Twitch. Buff dudes gaming channel confirmed. Maybe, maybe we are the game. Maybe you're inside the Buff Dudes video game right now. All right, David says, do you guys, whoa, do you guys meal prep? Yeah, we do. Huge fan of slow cookers. Every Sunday, meal prep Sunday, throw it in the slow cooker, chicken, salsa, let it set for about six hours, boom. Throw it in the glass, put it in the fridge, you got yourself a meal. And eat it. Yeah, and eat it. That's, That's the, next the most step. important part. That's what you do. Let me see. I was just putting it in the fridge. I know. Daniel says, how many protein shakes do I need to drink until I have a beautiful ponytail like yours? Too many. Or not enough. I haven't found out quite yet. Because this thing's going to get long. All right. My last set. Yeah. You can tell our adrenaline is starting to pump. We're talking faster and faster. And that's when you know you have a good <laughs> workout. So we do have one more set of this. Uh, that qu to the question of the abs, we are going to do abs. Uh, we might not be showing them, but am I, I just want to be in the mirror here. That's a gym crime right there, standing in front of your bro's yeah. mirror. Um, favorite exercise for abs? Nuraj, uh, if I pronounce that right, hopefully I didn't butcher your name. Favorite exercise would be, that's a tough Rollouts. Side. Rollouts for Hudson. <laughs> Rollouts. Roll, yeah. um, it's a toss up between hanging leg raises for me and uh, it would be also planks. Planks is a great strength, strength, strengthening exercise for the core in general, so that's a good one. Ryan, do you tan? Uh, no. <laughs> if you've been watching this video, obviously not. Uh, Donald, Brandon, what's up? It's Donnie from CDA. What's up, dude? How you doing? Thanks for joining us. What's up, dude? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're going uh, to move on to some hanging leg raises. We've got to find a spot, though. Um, we don't wanna, oh, maybe we'll go over there with the dip machine. Does that sound good? Let's do that. So we're going to be walking and talking. I think Hunt's going to be looking at the questions, finding a good one. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a really good one right now. Okay, which one or who is stronger, says David. Okay, I'll admit, Brand's a little stronger. You know, or let me see. I'm just kind of moving all over the place, you know, keeping all of you on your toes. What am I going to Maybe I'm just going to jump right towards the screen. Who knows? Um, oh, no, he's back here. Okay, here we go. We're almost to the end. This is the last exercise. Three sets, whew, whew, 10 reps. It's getting real now. It's getting real. Thankfully, yeah, it's just three sets. We're doing the hang leg raises. Did you just say that? See, I missed it. No, no, that's right. Hang leg raises. Right. John says, lay off the carbs. Dude, come on. <laughs> Chips and salsa, man. Pizza. Yeah. It's the vice. All right. Jeffrey, oxygen before or after the gym? Well, hopefully during the workout. Unfortunately, we're a little depleted right now. Um, let me see. Let me see. David from Scotland, 17 years old, says following your 12 week plan and uh, glad there's two chest and back days. Hell yeah, thanks Dave. Love chest and back, love pairing those two up. It just makes you feel good, you know? Um, let me see, 
37G says, if I'm a skinny guy, how long should I stick to the 5x5 program? And when should I incorporate isolation exercise? A lot of that's up to you when you feel confident and comfortable. I'm a big fan of the 5x5, love it. Usually stick with it. Personally for us, we've been working out longer, but we'll do it for a month or two. And then uh, we'll throw in some isolations there. Usually with that, it's like a lagging you know, isolation. Maybe like we were saying earlier, kneeling landmine press for us personally, clavicular portion of the chest, love it. But uh, yeah, just take a good look at yourself and see maybe what you need to work on. Whoa, good question, Joey. Hit or steady state cardio? Excellent question. And we actually have a big portion of this program dedicated to cardio and exactly that. Um, it's gonna be um, kind of going over high intensity interval training as well as steady state cardio and really what's better. It's hard to say what's better because it's all depending on your goal. But uh, I enjoy steady state for the mornings, more fasted, and then high intensity interval training implemented maybe one to two days a week. Could be any time, you know, midday. But as long as you kind of have more nutrition in your body and you're fueled a little bit better, that's probably a better time to do it. Uh, there you go. So if we want to kind of go over this exercise real quick, if you're wondering, I know there's a lot of questions, but try to really rotate your hips on this. It's really going to contract the abs a lot more. As you can see, we're kind of trying to bring your legs a little bit past parallel to the floor. Just want to get that in before the questions are coming. Yeah. Jamie says, are these guys cavemen? We really are. We're unfrozen. Um, we were born about 10,000 years BC. They just thought us out, and here we are. Very blessed to be able to get this nice workout in. Um, let me see. Saw a good one. I'm just looking for it again. Apologize. Uh, how tall are you two? West Coast Gatsby. Six foot little under six foot two, I'll be honest. I won't pull the WWE, I'm six foot, you know, three or whatever. I know, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Um, treeling, what are the worst injuries you have had? Thankfully, been very fortunate, never had major injuries, had some really bad tennis elbow, but nothing I couldn't get over, just gave it lots of rest and recovery. And uh, thankfully, that's over with. So let me finish my set. Um, Combination time. Uh, there was a five by five question earlier, but I think this is a different one. Is it? Was it different? Uh, I don't. I don't mean answer the same ones. The five by five. And yeah. You want isolation? No. It's, is it good for beginners? Oh no. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. That was a close one. Is it good for beginners? Absolutely. Five by five is probably one of our favorites, not only for beginners, but also, uh, you know, honestly, for just strength building in general. But it's a great beginners kind of program because it's really involving uh, the full body in all the bigger compound movements. So it's not only gonna help build strength and size in your body, um, depending on how much you're eating, but it's also teaching you the proper tools to then move on to more complicated programs. Um, guys, what do you think about glutamine? It's great, it's a great supplement, much like we answered before with creatine. Uh, it's kind of a tried and true proven supplement. Glutamine is great. It's usually included in a lot of um, proteins, you know, it's incorporated in them. Um, it's really, a great, uh, you know, non-essential amino acid the body, or is it essential? Shoot, you know, my brain's not even working right now. We got one more set. Come on, guys. Who are the complex questions? <laughs> we got one set left. One set. This is, in fact, let's all cheer Brandon on. We'll keep him in the background. This is his final set. Ten reps. He's got it. Last set, best set. Um, Leslie, the only injuries I had were the ones I faked to skip leg day. Like your style, Leslie. <laughs> no, not really. Didn't ever skip leg day? Shouldn't do that. That's a crime. Okay. What is your opinion on weight gainers, says Garvey on Twitch? They can be a great tool. It just depends on your goal. If your goal is weight gain, they can be excellent. Like I said before, recommend using a, a calorie app just to track your calories, see what you want. You don't want to go so obscenely large. You're all of a sudden jumping up to, you know, six, 7,000 calories, but uh, it all depends on your goal. So. You can use a weight gainer if you want to gain some size. Use those calorie tracking apps. Judge it. Moderation. The consistency. You've got it. Uh, Jermaine, question, what is the 5x5? Five five? Since we've been talking a lot about it, we might as well kind of go over a little bit. It's five sets of five reps. And typically, it's going to be about three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, uh, Friday. And it's really incorporating all the bigger compound movements. But it's programmed in a way where you're not always just doing the same exercises um, every day. Uh, or at least the days of the program. So look it up. It's, there's a lot of information on it. It's great. You should definitely do it. Uh, let's see. Breathe, guys. Breathe. Oh, thank God. Oh, thanks. We're That's trying. good advice. We're trying. Definitely. Um, just trying to. We're trying to get all the questions we can in, as as much as. 
So I did hanging. He did the easier version. See this? I didn't, oh, you did I was, hanging? Yeah, I wasn't oh, looking man. back. And you're supposed to do hanging leg raises. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it's working. I, don't I see. Even know anymore. Here, I'm dying over here. Um, I'm dying too. <laughs> we're both dying. Um, there we go. That concludes. I was, I was looking at the questions, but that really concludes the workout today. We're so glad you guys joined us. You know, we might take some time to maybe hang out a little bit, um, maybe catch some post BCAA drink. We got a cool, like, BCA fountain over there. We might grab something in. Um, hint, hint. Yeah. If anyone's <laughs> available, grab us a BCAA. Yeah, you know. Oh, no, we'll walk. <laughs> no. Should we? Let's do it. Let's walk. We'll walk. Let's we'll go. walk. We'll walk. Then let's you'll get to kind of get to see the facilities, too. I mean, it's actually a really great facility. It's so amazing you kind of got to see the gym. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. There we go. I just want to do a 360. Okay. We're going to tour the bodybuilding.com headquarters for a second. You know, not all the secret, secret places. We're de de developing new awesome video series and workout plans, but we'll, we'll maybe hit a little bit. Yeah. What's happening? I'm missing it. See, because I'm so far ahead. We'll just both walk backwards. And there we go. Just going to walk backwards. I'm just going to risk it. Yeah. You know. Oh, we're not moving. We're keep moving. We may, we may not. Like a train. We're gaining some momentum. Okay, we're moving again. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah here we go. Is, is someone's talking, I'll do the questions or you do vice versa. Yeah. Do. I'll take one, you take the other. There we there go. We go. Back to normal now. Perfect. All right, let me see. What's your best technique to get rid of love handles? Um, and we're moving, and we're walking. Uh, <laughs> the best technique, I would say, is to really get your calories in check, your nutrition, and once you kind of get that in check, as we were saying before, getting the kind of ca calorie calculator, macronutrient percentages, uh, move on to getting very active, up your cardio, get your exercises right, and get on a good program. That way you can continue to see that consistency and also the progressional training to always see results and not hit a plateau. Where are we going? We have no idea. We're just gonna keep walking though. Um, let me see. What is your favorite I'm rock or hip hop hand? Says Jamal. I'm, I'm leaving you guys. I'm going ghost. to the doors. That's a good one. Yeah. Big fan of the fan ghosts. Love it. Where are we? Where are we going? It's so quiet. It is. All of a sudden we went into a whole other dimension here. It's a little scary, a little intimidated. Snack Chris bar. Jones says, what's your favorite metal music to listen to? I like Children of Bottom, Death. Uh, okay, that's getting a little extreme, but they're great workout bands. Um, I like Lead and Iron. Is that what we're talking about? Metal? Yeah, there oh, we go. Music? The music, yeah. Um, let me see, let me see. What else do we got? Do you guys like cable exercises? Christopher, yes we do, yeah, uh-huh. Flies, great cable. Um, tricep rope extensions, another good one we like. Which supplements do you guys use, says David? Creatine, BCAAs, whey protein. Those are three favorites. Tips on cardio from Jerish. Uh, let me see. I like cardio first thing in the morning. I said that earlier. Um, steady state, that's one of my favorites. I'll do HIT every once in a while. High intensity interval training. Usually just one day, maybe on Sunday. Um, hit it real hard, feel good. Let me see. Time to get in the gym, says Josh. Come visit Australia. We'd love to, dude. Hopefully one day soon. Um, uh, let me see. Go I, to. I got one. I'll okay, take yeah, yeah, yeah. Opinions on supersets, drop sets, or training to failure. So there we go. Now he's getting this right. All three are great. You know, we really like to incorporate that uh, a lot in our programs before. We're going to be doing supersets in this program that we gave a sample today in, but it's going to be kind of one of the later phases. So uh, it's really interesting, you know, to incorporate those new kind of techniques that you're maybe not necessarily used to. Uh, supersetting is great to kind of help keep the heart rate elevated. Um, you know, because you're going from one exercise immediately onto the other, and kind of similar to drop sets, but in that way, you're really working to fatigue and then immediately um, dropping to a lighter weight to continue to fatigue and try to hit as many muscle fibers in the muscle bellies as possible. Uh, so there you go. Mm -hmm. J Rock says, how often do I do cardio? I usually do cardio about three to four times a week, uh, a lot of it. I just love to, you know, set it early, I'll repeat myself, meditate first thing in the morning, feels great to wake up, get some cardio in, starts the day off right, listen to some music, puts you in a good mood. Um, Jeffrey says six foot one, how much do you weigh? I'm weighing about 220, 225 right now. Brandon is weighing a little bit more. How much you weighing about in at? 230, 235. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So uh, I got one. What's your favorite Overwatch character? You know, damn, that's a good question, Jinx. Uh, unfortunately. Sad to say, I know you're gonna hate us, but you've been on Twitch. Is that I have not played Overwatch yet? My God! Oh, I know. Wow! Just get off hey. this t Twitch channel right I now. I pretty much should after saying something like that. I'll but say Reinhard. Yeah, he's never played it. Either. I know, I haven't either. But I played him once in a quarter of a digital video. Check it out. There we go. Yeah. How's the weather in Idaho? Says Jay. It's beautiful, man. It's amazing. Look at this. Oh yeah. yeah. That cannot be beat. 
you know, if you're thinking about investing some time in Idaho, definitely check out Boise. Beautiful city. All the locals are like, no. Yeah, no exactly. Get out of here. <laughs> no, it's very nice. Uh, they'll be kicking us out later today because uh, we've overstayed our welcome, but we've enjoyed our time here. It's been very nice. Um, Bronco says, it's 2 a.m. in Serbia, but I'm still with you guys. Thank Bronco. you, Bronco. Appreciate it, you're dude. The you're the man. You are the man. Thanks, bro. We've only stayed on this channel because you've stayed on this channel. That's right. We're going to continue to if you keep So please on. get off the so channel get off because we're getting tired. tired. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see. Come to Greece. We will. One day we will. All right. When are more of your videos coming? Uh, very soon. Very soon. Buff Dudes in the Goblet of Gains. Bodybuilding.com in collaboration with Muscle Tech. It's an epic new series that's going to blow your mind. You're going to laugh. You're going to cry. You're going to get really, really buff. So. And I think saying that, we're about to end the stream. It, we really, oh, did yeah, I cut you off No, there? Oh, I'm just okay, so yeah. like, whoa, yeah, exactly. I'm so overwhelmed. It's uh, amazing. Right. Yeah, it is amazing. So we're gonna cut you off there, cut ourselves off, because we're gonna keep on talking. Um, and even when these cameras go off, we're gonna continue talking, everyone's gonna leave, and we're just gonna stand here and keep talking. The lights have been locked up in this place, uh, everybody's left. Whether you're here or not, we're gonna stand here talking, <laughs> sipping our Yeah, and the janitor's things. right over there going, guys, can you just go, man, I yeah. wanna do my job. So we're gonna leave you. Big thanks to bodybuilding.com, muscle tech, all of you, of course, huge thanks. Love you guys, Twitch, YouTube, hell yeah. You Until know what to next do. time. Stay buff. Yeah. Yeah.